but there's no such problem for the NBA's Miami Heat, who last year became the first of the new expansion teams to make the playoffs. The Heat have a solid foundation of young players like Ronnie Cycli inside and long-range gunner Glenn Rice outside. Miami's playoff hopes were helped on draft day two as USC star Harold Miner fell all the way to 12th. They call him Baby Jordan, and if he performs at all like Chicago's version, Heat fans may celebrate many more playoff returns. The Magic are all smiles too over their draft day decision as the NBA ushers in the Shaquille O'Neal era in Orlando. The LSU All-American is the most heralded center prospect since Patrick Ewing, and many say will be the league's next can't-miss superstar. As Orlando welcomes the Shaq, Magic fans tonight take another look at life in 3D as Dennis Scott makes his return for knee surgery tonight in Miami. It's the Magic and the Heat in the exhibition opener next. Going to loosen up some defenses, and once again, the presence of Shaquille is going to help everyone else. Things are hopping down here in Miami, as you all know. The Heat, the first of the new four expansion teams to make the playoffs. Right. They got a big break in the draft with Harold Miner, a guy they picked 12th. Many thought he would go much, much higher. Yeah, I think so. And you talk about impact players. It's, it's hard to say you have that in a guard. But with this guy right here, he is definitely one that can come in and do a lot of things with the basketball. Led the Pac-10 in scoring for the past three seasons. Averaged over 26 points a game last year. The guy can score points. An exciting basketball player. When you talk about the Heat, you talk about the young blend of talent on this team. You've got to talk about Glenn. Must come in here understanding that it's going to be an uphill battle all the way, but if he does not believe in himself, he will not make this ball club. Wholesale changes for both clubs. Jeff Turner, Shaquille O'Neal, Donald Royal in for the Magic, an entire new five for Miami. As Jeff Turner lets fly and misses. And the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll go to the Magic. Bimbo Coles is at the point. Willie Burton, Alec Kessler, Matt Geiger, and let's see who else did I miss? And Harold Miner, their first round draft pick, number 32. He's an exciting player. A little bit quicker ball club on the floor right now for the Pope. Four for the Shack. Matt Geiger committed the foul. It's 21 20. The Magic have the lead here. The Heat have led by six. The Magic now lead by one. Minor against Bowie. They call this guy Baby Jordan. Uh, they already love him here in Miami. You can tell by the reaction after he makes that first shot. He is a scoring machine, as I mentioned. Only one other player in Pac-10 history has scored over 2,000 points in three seasons. That was Lou Al Sidner. Willie Burton scores it. Anthony Bowie, I believe, with the push. And Miami will have an opportunity for the three-point play. Well, I mentioned the Magic. Magic a the quicker team. Kessler. And now Coles. Ten seconds to shoot. Burton against Bowie. Minor against Corciani. Leaps, fires, won't go, but draws a foul. That first step is unbelievably quick. He is going to be a handful for a lot of people at that second guard spot. Watch right here. He's just going to square up there, give a little fake one direction, get Corciani leading, and then he goes back the other way. Minor averaged almost 24 a game. The rap against him has been that as good as a shooter, good as a scorer as he might be, he's not been a guy who has involved his teammates in the game and that's something that they really want him to work on here in Miami. You do what you have to especially in college ball and if your coach allows you to take more things into your own hand you do that. That was what was given to him at USC and now he's going to have to make some adjustments but I think the Heat will still give him opportunities to handle the basketball. Turner feeds it in traffic and another travel. Why no talking to some folks or just spread things out and allow him to work one on one. Miss those two free throws 640 left. It's 33 29. The score remains in favor of the heat. Minor a left handed jumper off the front of the rim. Magic running. Look at this break. Look at O'Neal trailing. Watch out. Now that's what he must do. You just don't have many guys 7 1 that run the floor like he does. 
So if he's going to be out there and he gets it in the floor on this last play and watch him rattle the rack. Now watch he's going to be right there for the rebound is the thing. Now watch you see three magic players out in front of him. He's going to continue to run. Corciani sees the floor very well and he will get a lot of baskets like that because he loves to work. Does not mind filling the lane. Lester Connor, an excellent defensive player, plays hard all the time. You see him there guarding the ball all the way down the floor. But as you mentioned, Chip, he's not one to give you a lot of offense. 49-45, the Magic with the lead. Minor crossover, leaning lefty. Well, as excited as Magic fans are about their pick, I think the Heat have reason to be excited, too. This I guy, Harold so. Minor, is a very good-looking player. Now, the real problem for the Heat is they have a lot of people at that position. That shot coming just a little bit too quick. Now the Heat have a final chance. Miner comes up against Turner. Hangs, won't go. Loose ball. Ock saves it. Kessler for three. Won't go. Rebound Magic. They'll try to finish things out on a high note here in the fourth quarter. These two teams will jump on their respective charter aircraft and fly back to Orlando tonight and do battle tomorrow evening at the Orlando Arena. Magic will come now with Turner Corciani, Royal O'Neal, and Anthony Bowie. They come with Bimbo Coles, Alec Kessler, Harold Miner, Glenn Rice, and Matt Geiger. Now this is that extra pass. Jeff Turner at 6'9 at the top that time can see over the defense. Spotted Bowie on the weak side. His first two points of the night. 82-75, 11-20 to play in the game. Believe it or not, the Magic have never won a regular season game in this building. It's Miner. Harold Miner. Cans for seven. O'Neal runs the floor, saves, and throws it away. Had no choice. Magic thought he was pushed. Substitution in the game for the Heat. Crowd didn't like the call. Edwards in, Miner out. Well, you know what surprised me about Harold Miner is how solidly he is built in the lower body. He doesn't look like a life athlete. He looks more like a, a linebacker with his legs. And well, I'll tell you at 6'5", 221, that tells you a lot about him right there. He is, he is very solid. 